let us have a discussion on extreme values of a trigonometric functions. So, now extreme values of a trigonometric functions extreme values of a trigonometric functions trigonometric functions here extreme values means either minimum or maximum minimum value of the trigonometric function and maximum value of any trigonometric function we have to discuss. See as we have already studied in the first chapter, we have discussed in the first chapter the graphs of the different trigonometric functions. If you observe the graphs of the trigonometric functions, the easily we can trace out our the maximum and minimum values of the sin x cos x functions as well as tan x, cot x, secant x and cosecant x functions, trigonometric functions. First let us examine the graph of the sin x. Here graph of the sin x will be like this. So, this is x axis origin x dash this is y and y dash. Say this is 1, this will be minus 1, say this is 1. Now, sin 0 0, say this will be sin pi by 2, again sin pi like this, sin pi by 2 1, again it comes down like this it goes up, down and next the minus 1 minus pi by 2 and minus pi it comes to the x axis like this. If you just observe the graph like this, see so now this 1 will be the maximum value, this minus 1 will be the minimum value. So, these two values are known as extreme values of sin x function, this is the graph of the sin x function. Since this is the graph of sin x function, so extreme values, extreme values are minus 1 and plus 1 this is minimum, this is called, this is called maximum. Similarly, if you observe the graph of cos x, zero pi by two pi and three pi by two and two pi here minus pi by 2 and minus pi and minus 3 pi by 2. Say so, this will be 1, this will be minus 1. We know that cos 0 is 1 like this, cos pi by 2 is 0, minus pi by 2 is also 0, minus pi is minus 1, it comes of cos 3 pi by 2 is 0. Again this is minus 1 it goes up. See now, here also therefore, this is the graph of cos x, graph of cos x, extreme values, values. From this graph we can say that 1 is the maximum and minus 1 is the minimum. So, minus 1 and 1, this is minimum, this is maximum. So, now we conclude that the extreme values of sin x are minus 1 and 1, 
the extreme values of cos x are minus 1 and 1. So, now let us discuss a theorem on extreme values of a trigonometric functions. theorem. If a comma b comma c belongs to real numbers such that a square plus b square does not equal to 0, then the maximum and minimum and minimum minimum values of a sin x plus b cos x plus c or respectively or respectively respectively c plus root of a square plus b square and c minus root of a square plus b square over real number system R. Same the set of maximum and minimum value is also known as range of the function. Suppose if you say this is function f of x, this c plus root of a square plus b square comma c minus root of a square plus b square closed bracket is nothing but range of the function. Range of the function is also nothing but the first one is maximum value or first one is the minimum value, second one is the maximum value. So, let us find out now. Let us say f of x is equal to this function in x that is f of x is equal to a sin x plus b cos x plus c. Now, here let us write a cos x or a sin x plus b cos x in terms of sin function or cos function. So, let us write suppose it. So, now let a is equal to r cos theta and b is equal to r sin theta. Eliminating theta from these two equations. So, how do we eliminate theta from these two equations? square and add. So, that means a square plus b square we get r square that implies a square plus b square is equal to r square. r is equal to root over a square plus b square this is the r value. Okay. Now, this f of x becomes now a stands for r cos theta sin x plus b stands for r sin theta cos x plus constant of integration sorry con c that is not an integration now this is c. Now, from these two terms take r comma we get sin x cos theta plus cos x sin theta plus constant value c. This is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. So, we can write this one as r sin of x plus theta plus c. So, in order to find out the minimum and maximum value of f of x depends on this sin of x plus theta value. Here see 
sin of x plus theta minimum is minus 1, maximum is plus 1. So, we already we have discussed it. So, that means here f of x minimum f of x minimum is equal to c minus r. So, what is r root of a square plus b square? This is c minus root of a square plus b square. Now, f x maximum the f x maximum is equal to we get c plus r that is nothing but c plus root of a square plus b square. Therefore, maximum of a sin x plus b cos x plus c c plus root of a square plus b square whereas, minimum value is c minus root of a square plus b square. If you want to find out range of this function, so range is given by like this range is equal to range of this function f is equal to c minus root of a square plus b square comma c plus root of a square plus b square. So, this is this can be applicable for competitive entrance examinations.